which brings us to Nepal. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli seems to have managed to save his chair, for now at least. Reports say a split in Nepal's ruling party has been averted thanks to China. Reports say that Prime Minister Oli is close to a deal with Push Kamal Dehel or Prachand as he's called, the former Prime Minister who is leading the rival faction, that's Prachand. All through this month, we have seen China's ambassador to Nepal, Hu Yangchi, in action. She has actively engaged with all the stakeholders, including the president of Nepal, Bidya Devi Bhandari. Now, this ambassador is no stranger to controversy. She has done this before and has made news for it. The Nepal Communist Party was born out of a marriage between the parties of Oli and Dehel. And China was the one that stitched this alliance. And we can tell you that China has gone to great lengths to protect it, even when the people of Nepal have called China out for meddling in domestic politics. There were protests this time too. People were out on the streets. Nepali newspapers questioned the Chinese ambassador and her role. Hu Yangchi broke the diplomatic code of conduct. No diplomat is supposed to be sitting on political meetings of the ruling party or any party for that matter. But Beijing does not care about rules, clearly. Here is how brazen China was about the entire affair. The press in Nepal spoke to the spokesperson of the Chinese embassy. He was asked about the objective of the ambassador's meeting. And you have to listen to the response. The ambassador, and I'm quoting, did not wish to see the NCP, that's the ruling party, in trouble and wished its leaders would resolve their differences and stay united. So they've said it. Ambassador Hu Yangchi, as I said, has done this before. In the month of May, she held a range of meetings. Again, the purpose was to save the ruling party from a split. And now China's top diplomat seems to have managed to avert another breakup. But, and I've said this before too, this truce is temporary. Here's another report from Nepal, meanwhile. It says, Prachand has ruled out an early general convention of the party. He says, various issues still need to be sorted out. Allegedly, Prachand was criticized after reports came out that he has reached a deal with Oli. Members of his faction are unhappy with the way things have turned out. They want Oli to step down as prime minister. So Prachand seems to have stepped back from that demand. Clearly, this is an uneasy truce, an evolving situation. And this may not, this government may not last the test of time. We'll have to wait and see what happens in Nepal.